So my name is uh, Michał Mielczyński and I'm a software engineer and uh, for a few uh, last years I've been doing uh, uh, software design and implementation on uh, render farms uh, uh, and uh, the software that uh, handles the data or data stream uh, at the server side of uh, the render farms <coughs> as well as the, as the software that runs uh, handles uh, the data on the user side and uh, <coughs> uh, recently I finished uh, my private idea uh, that is uh, designed especially for Blender and especially for uh, uh, Cycles engine. Uh, I, I've made a small calculation uh, recently it appears that uh, on a, a CG market I'm over for over 20 years, so that's scary. <laughs> but uh, uh, some of this time I've spent making uh, uh, visualization, uh, not as a programmer, but just uh, as, as a Blender user, not only Blender, but Blender is one of my uh, favorite applications. So, uh, 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 especially in uh, architecture visualizations, and product design and automotive design, and so on. So uh, mm, recently I'm very happy about uh, the, the recent builds of B Blender and uh, the Cycles engine because, because it answers uh, uh, needs uh, to those uh, sections of the computer graphics market. So uh, Cycles engine is already known uh, for a great uh, effect that takes a great amount of time. So I've, uh, I've been thinking if, uh, if there is any way I can uh, uh, help to speed it up. So in this speech I will not uh, tell you about uh, uh, how to tweak the cycle engine to make it faster, though this is a very important subject. And uh, uh, I will not also tell you about how to uh, the noise, the image uh, uh, in a post-processing, uh, but it is a very important subject. Instead, I will I will tell you about uh, the render farms, the subject that I know pretty well, and uh, the the new idea of the service uh, that works like a, a render farm but better. Uh, so. As a remi reminder, uh, if any of you ever tried or used uh, a render farm uh, in theory, uh, the idea is pretty simple. You take the, mm, some uh, heavy computation, uh, send it over the network mm, to some uh, render farm site, uh, that may be a local network or any kind of network, then the heavy co computation uh, rendering is done on, on the server side and uh, effects are downloaded back to the local client or clients. Uh, then uh, that's pretty simple and nice idea, but uh, in, a, in a practice it more often looks like this. Or, so there are some issues here, and to be more precise, uh, uh, those issues are mm, like common drawbacks of classic render farms are uh, those services are tend to be complicated. I mean, there's a set of software, that extra software that you have to uh, download and, and launch as a, a st standalone application or uh, manage uh, uh, jobs uh, in the web browser or uh, uh, launch uh, some additional panels in your 3D application and, and most of the time those th things are mixed together. So uh, and another drawback is, uh, drawback is uh, uh, render farm services are unnecessarily complicated. They present a, a set of uh, uh, terms uh, like jobs, task, uh, uh, gigahertz per hours, and so on, and so on. It is commonly uh, used on on different uh, sites, uh, um, but defines different things, and so on. 
uh, slow. Well, that may sound like a paradox, but uh, for uh, render farms are good for a, a very heavy demanding clients. So, and when you can agree uh, to pay a price uh, and spend hour or two uh, just for preparing the scene for the render farm. Uh, since we as uh, generic render users uh, we often we do not want to spend another hour or, or half an hour just to prepare the scene uh, and send it back to the to the render farm. Mm -hmm. It may take uh, too much time and it, in the same time you will render it out pretty well locally. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, complicated and slow uh, in the terms of usage. So every time you have to um, prepare a job for a render farm you have to uh, take care uh, of uh, of several steps like um, preparing the scene, uh, sometimes preparing the textures, packing th things up, log into the FTP server for example, and so on and so on. Then manage uh, the upload, uh, perhaps uh, manage uh, start the job on the render farm by the web browser, browser for example, uh, then uh, mm -hmm. supervise the, the process and so on so on so on. And uh, this uh, is also a matter of costs because usually render farms are either expensive, either they don't work. So, uh, of course, this is optimally if you have a, a job and send it to the render farm, then you get the results and uh, everything is fine. But most of the cases you uh, download uh, results and uh, see that something went wrong, but you have had to pay for that already. So you just send uh, another if you want, <laughs> prepare another job, uh, tr try to fix uh, things if you know what went wrong and send it back again and pay again. So, because all, all, all of the above, it's um, prone to errors. Uh, um, to be more specific, uh, those may be uh, user errors or mistakes uh, in a complicated uh, process of preparing the scene. Uh, you just may forget to do something. And this uh, complicated software is not often very well tested, so it generates some issues by itself. So I've been thinking, is there any solution for not, not, not for, a, for a heavy end user that demands a, a, a computing power for a movie like Lord of the Rings, but for more for us, for, for common users. So uh, I came up with the idea, uh, and not only an idea, uh, this is actual uh, working solution. And it works pretty well, that well that I, I've decided to um, call it not, uh, not a render farm anymore, but uh, the online cycles accelerator for Blender because uh, it kind of really accel accelerates your, your workflow. Yes. Uh, so this is quite a long name for, for a shortcut. I call it a, a ray pump because it, is, uh, it pumps rays into your scene, right? <laughs> okay, some uh, it is trivial to use. Uh, uh, the scheduling uh, a job uh, to the render farm is clicking one button uh, inside the Blender, and in case of uh, any data inconsistency in the scene, uh, you press another button, and that's it. Yes, uh, it has a. Uh, a very efficient upload and, and download management and I will show you in a few slides uh, what I mean by uh, efficient upload because most of the main drawbacks of the render farms is, is the problem with the upload. Most of you have uh, uh, RU's uh, um, asymmetric uh, internet connection, yes? So, so the, the, the download may be uh, 2 or 10 megabits per second but the upload is actually uh, 
much more slower than this. So, so big scenes like a uh, few hundred megabits, uh, they will upload slowly. And if you have issues with the scene, you have to make all the upload one, one, once more in most, in most cases. Okay, that is uh, quite uh, mm, normal, but uh, okay, this, this solution uses GPU. Uh, is, uh, of course, it's quite modern and it has some issues with uh, GPU. Uh, most of this, those issues are known to you if you, if you try to uh, use uh, cycles um, on your local GPU. But if it works in your local GPU, it will, for 100%, it will work on, on the RayPump service or even maybe sometimes uh, if it not works on your local GPU, it, it will work there. And as, as uh, extras, uh, the, the, all the data download is done automatically. I will show you in, uh, in a minute how it's done. Okay, some, some very known uh, scenes uh, that I've been doing, uh, I've been using as a test scenes on the ray pump and you can see some some numbers uh, seconds uh, minutes and seconds here and uh, this those scenes may be not nice but those are okay those are test scenes so this one is pretty complicated and it took uh, uh, 11 minutes uh, some other well known uh, uh, scene these uh, resolutions of all those uh, renders are at least uh, uh, HD and uh, some other examples and although those times you see uh, here in minutes and seconds are not uh, render times those are total job time so that includes all uh, transferring all the data to the uh, render farm or ray pump service and then uh, uh, rendering there and downloading the, uh, the data. So if you compare it to the quite fast and quite powerful local setup, it will be comparable, if not faster. In many cases, it will be much more faster. So uh, here's uh, some more detailed comparison uh, table, uh, and you can see the last uh, the last column is the number of samples and the resolution, the, the, the total size of the file scene with the texture packed because it has, uh, those textures has to be sent as well. Uh, okay, and the, here's the, the local um, render time. Uh, it is uh, made on a, a GTX 670, so it's not maybe a top shelf, but still pretty uh, fast and pretty expensive uh, and the first that's distinction between first and the next job is quite important because first time uh, Raypump uh, starts the um, you start the new scene and send it uh, to the Raypump it uploads all the data and every next time you make some modification and uh, and, and then schedule the job again it will transfer only the, the delta or the differences. Uh, so this upload will be much faster, even though changes might be uh, significant in the scene. So uh, those numbers put uh, in a, some simple form of charts. So there's a, there's a graph as in every presentation, right? <laughs> So it's easy to understand, I believe. So this, the gray uh, field is a, is a local render time on the GTX 670. Uh, the, first, mm, the first job on the ray pump uh, and uh, every next average uh, time of every next job on the ray pump. So usually uh, the local render is slower even for a, for a first job, even comparing to a uh, first job on the ray pump. Sometimes it happens that the, the first job on the ray pump, I mean the, the data transfer, rendering and sending the results back, back are uh, slower or yes, slower than uh, than a local rendering. But that, that's uh, not very often, and usually it's uh, it is only true for uh, very small scenes. 
and there's a local specification, local PC specification. That's what I had, I think, very fast of it. So what, as you see, uh, it was uh, quite an advantage. It was faster, it is faster, uh, but uh, there is something more about this idea. Uh, because uh, usual simplified uh, workflow uh, when you uh, do the job in a, in, in a Blender or 3D application uh, is that you, you work in this cycle. So you create or import the geometry, uh, assign some materials, create them first, and set uh, the lights and uh, set the camera shot, then do the render, either final, either um, a test render, mm -hmm. and then see the result, see what went wrong, and uh, do some tweaking or another shot if everything's fine with, with the previous one. And uh, you continue to do this cycle uh, unless uh, you're satisfied uh, or in most cases unless a deadline catches you. So uh, I will go back for a minute because uh, Classic Render Farm has this, uh, um, these issues, especially here at this, at this, at this uh, um, upper arrow because uh, they break your, your workflow. Okay? So they introduce so much uh, additional tasks, uh, application switching, and so on, so on, that it really breaks your workflow. You cannot focus on an on a, on a actual job. Uh, instead, uh, Raypump uh, tries not to only, um, not to break your workflow, but to improve it. And here's a, a, a sample scene by Sinobi. Uh, this is quite simple scene uh, of the bathroom. And again, uh, a workflow example simplified um, uh, eight, seven steps of a workflow uh, may look like this. You, uh, let's say you've got everything almost ready. So you make uh, some uh, test render, then um, check it out, then test uh, and t details on the, on, the, on the final render. Then you may want to uh, take another shot and uh, make some uh, adjustment to camera. Then you make uh, add some more geometry, make some dupli duplication, and make another uh, shot. Then you make uh, add another geometry, modify the mat materials, and uh, change the textures, uh, and so on, so on, and render it out. And this table shows the, uh, compares the um, workflow time uh, that was taken uh, um, locally and with using the ray pump uh, solution. Uh, so those black fields are um, local render times. Uh, at, by average, you could say that uh, the local render time for every of those uh, shots in final resolution took about 15 minutes. I, Sometimes I just skip the local rendering because it was slower, too slow. Okay, so uh, and uh, and the light gray uh, is uh, times of. Uh, I'm pointing the finger on this screen, right? You can f you can see this, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the engineer, right? <laughs> no, no, but I just grabbed the mouse. So uh, and this, this light green area are the times of um, the same scene, same shot, same moment uh, taken with uh, uh, with the ray pump solution, and uh, on the, this chart uh, it looks like this. So it is three times uh, faster. But when I make this chart, I said to myself, "Well, this is quite okay. This is." Three times faster, not bad, that's, that, but uh, it seems to be faster than this when I've been doing this. And in fact, uh, it is faster because I've made a mistake and uh, uh, the, the actual uh, speed up is greater because of uh, one simple fact that uh, when you schedule the job uh, on the ray pump, it does not block your local resources at all. So you don't have to wait for a, a final render. Uh, instead, you can continue work on the same scene, another shot, another scene, uh, 
or close the blender, open 3D, uh, 3D Max, and laugh. <laughs> or anything else. Uh, so it is faster. Uh, instead of, of live dem demonstration, uh, this is the online uh, service. So uh, we don't have a, a, a online here, right? So instead of a live session, I will, uh, I will show you a screencast that has been made uh, in my uh, lab, in my, in my apartment, actually. It is not, uh, it is not uh, speeded up or, or cut. It, it's just a live stream uh, with no time lapse, right? So. Okay, so, okay, I will just, uh, so this, this, this is, uh, this is the ray pump <coughs> application. It is fairly small, you just enter the um, username and password and, uh, and do connect. Then you can, it take, take some place so you can close it, it minimizes uh, to this uh, icon in the system tray. Then you uh, open some scene, for example, this scene takes uh, 55.3 uh, megabits, and uh, it is also not mine, not, none of those scenes are mine scenes, okay? It's, I'm not the author of the scenes, those are uh, test scenes taken uh, from BlendSwap. So you have here an uh, extra panel, uh, uh, raypump.com, and uh, this, this, this extra panel is, uh, works as an add-on in a render section in Blender user preferences. So once you launch it up or save it uh, to auto-launch with your preferences and cl click the connect local service, uh, you will see uh, some information from the tray. And when you press the send button, uh, you see the confirmation. Uh, you can mm, view that transfer is being made uh, uh, in a ray pump, and it's transferring already to the to the to the render farm, uh, and you can continue your work. So I I'm doing some stupid things here. I'm, I'm not the artist, but you've got the information of that testing your scene has been proceed and that means it takes another uh, few seconds to test the scene out if it can run actually on a, on a GPU render farm in case of any problems it will let you know and uh, during this uh, render process I can continue my work doing uh, 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 local rendering or local preview uh, and you have the information here that uh, the job has started on the ray pump. And uh, I will do some more stupid uh, things here. But just I wanted to create uh, some modif modification to the scene, like camera, uh, like adding the texture uh, to show you later that uh, these changes does not uh, um, impact the upload uh, time noticeable, right? So I, what what did I unwrap this? It's very fancy. Okay, this all the this time you, you uh, the, the the job is running on the ray pump and the previous shot uh, that I've made and. I don't want uh, to schedule another job right now here just to uh, show you uh, how fast the, the final render will um, uh, pop up. Uh, but I could schedule another job just right now. And the renders are al already download, downloaded. Uh, so uh, during your work, when you're free, you can uh, see the uh, download uh, render fol folder. And there it is. And it, it is final render uh, from the previous uh, shot, so you can. So right now I will uh, schedule another job or two, uh, just to show that uh, you are free to uh, 
send another job, uh, except uh, when it's still uploading, uh, you have to wait to, uh, to, to upload to finish, but only the upload and the rest uh, of the process, okay, so you have uh, this information, please wait until previous uh, job gets uh, uh, uploaded, mm -hmm. and it gets uploaded when the pro process uh, progress bar disappears, you can schedule another job with no problem, and uh, it, it gets uploaded, and it's already already there with the mo modification, and another job just has been scheduled. So the first job is already running, and the second one already waits on the render farm to be uh, to be uh, started. And uh, how much time do I have? Five, seven, <laughs> <laughs> seven minutes. Okay, so it's it's live. So I think I I will. <laughs> it's almost live, right? Live, right? It is recorded. Mm. But you you are free to try this service. Uh, it, maybe the the biggest advantage or one of the biggest advantage uh, of the service is that this <coughs> does not cost you anything. It it, it is free to download and uh, and use. Uh, but so that's 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 good, right? That's in a <laughs> blender spirit, right? <laughs> and uh, there's a good chance that you when once you once you run your job on the on the render farm, it will run. Uh, most probably on eight uh, Tesla uh, 2070, so it it will run pretty fast. It maybe in future it will run faster. That's we'll see. Okay, that's a, that's a test uh, mm, uh, service at this moment, but it works uh, pretty well with the with the especially with the uploads. So you see. Uh, the third scene uh, is been testing and the. No, that's the second one. And uh, the previous one uh, has been already rendered out, but the ray pump waits for all your job uh, to get uh, finished and then uh, downloads all the result at once go at, at one go. So I, I'm making uh, again some modifications in this uh, bathroom scene and uh, schedule the modification shots and uh, there, there's uh, another job on the ray pump just has been started and that how uh, the ray pump does not break your workflow okay it does not force you to uh, to switch uh, or or make some additional stuff it simply uh, it's simply uh, pressing one button and the, the job is scheduled so with all the with all the uh, changes you've made, even those changes are uh, <coughs> significant, like adding some crazy geometry here at the bathroom. Of course, those changes can be in serious work. Th those will be uh, much often um, more changes to it, and, and exchanging textures, for example, exchanging uh, HDRS, and so on and so on. But this is all uh, optimized. Uh, to just to minimize the, the so long process of uploading the scene and the rendering is always faster than your local render so in conclusion it uh, will get always uh, faster and uh, I will I'm doing this preview at the local GPU at the same time uh, the third uh, uh, third probably the next job has been started uh, on the ray, uh, ray pump, uh, I'm doing the local rendering just to make uh, some comparison of uh, times. Uh, almost at the same time, uh, one of the job uh, uh, on the render farm has started. So uh, we'll see how 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 quick uh, all those job I've scheduled already uh, will get downloaded. So usually that's, that is uh, what you have uh, locally if you have uh, a pretty good uh, GPU cards, maybe like one of those uh, you can see there.
and uh, all the jobs that I've scheduled are already downloaded to your local computer. So uh, these are the, the last shot and the bike uh, experiment with monkeys and uh, the, another shot with the bike and monkeys and so on and so on. So we, you can, as you can see, uh, it, is, it, is, uh, it is improving your uh, workflow. And there's another just schedule scene, but you, I think you got the point, so I don't really want to, to make it longer, okay? That's it, thank you. Hello, my name is uh, Markus Kaschler, and uh, I have some questions. Uh, uh, yeah, I forgot a lot. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> During the uh, presentation, but uh, do you first do you know Render Web over Facebook? Uh, yeah, I've heard, heard about that, this. Yeah? Yes, and the second uh, is, is uh, what's what's uh, uh, how does he plan uh, for for the future? Uh, do you have plans for for other software maybe, or is it is this only Blender? This is uh, at the moment only for a blender, only, if, only for the cycles. The scene, even if you send something that is not uh, rendered on the cycles, it will automatically switch to cycles. Okay. Okay. The, and do this some fancy job with your yeah, scene, I'm, all right? I'm rendering on cycles, but okay. So it it is strictly for the cycles users. Uh, commercial work. What's about commercial work and, and the prices? You're free to use for any purpose you want. If you want to make money with it, no problem. On, on, on which uh, servers does, does it run? In Tesla? Uh, currently, it runs only on one GPU node, but as a testing, right? Uh, just, ju we just have uh, uh, one node for this uh, with uh, eight uh, Tesla 2070 with six uh, gigabytes uh, of video memory. and. We want to start with that and see uh, how it runs and how it manages the data, actually, if it but really helps your when, workflow. When there are hundreds of users, so... Well, so we add another notes, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, 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 and the, the resources, uh, uh, does my computer use also the resources? Or is this, uh, maybe if I transfer a job to, to your, your Tesla server, can I uh, uh, put my resources uh, or, or, or integrate my, my resources to, to your, your Tesla? The, all the resources, if I understand it color correctly, are uh, appended automatically. Like textures? Or what kind of resources? No, I, uh, no. Maybe I, 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 have, I have two graphic cards, two NVIDIA graphic cards on my okay, PC. No, no, and no. What you can do, uh, I don't know half of the frame locally and another half sent to the ray pump because it works with the, with the border um, rendering, but it's not, uh, not something okay. that you can so, automatically And uh, uh, do I need to uh, put my textures in, in a folder or is it automatically? Automatically. You, don't, you just have to have press to the button. And, yeah. then to, okay. and, uh, and uh, the, if there's some, some scenes uh, that you may uh, download from the uh, internet, they have made some missing texture or data inconsistency, and those uh, are fixed automatically also. I mean, you have to press another button, but that fixes uh, fixes the problem. If you see that um, pink shader, you, you should fix it your, yourself, right? Some Or, or some, some errors with the scene. <laughs> It will not get fixed automatically. You have to just prepare the scene and send the uh, press the send to a pump uh, button, okay, and that's okay. it. Are, are there some tutorials how to how to use it? Uh, not yet available. Not yet, but in the mm -hmm. future. Uh, future. Actually, the application is not yet available. Uh, I forgot to mention this is the world premiere of the of okay. the ray pump. Okay, you you've seen it first. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, no, actually, I've seen it first. You, but you're the next. Okay, that's, that's, it, it sounds great. Okay, thank, so, thank yes, you. Another much. question. So it doesn't send the, the blend files to the farm? It does. It does. So yes. how about I have uh, like linked little red robots all over the place and, <laughs> and, and, and footage? That's how a good about question. that? 
the, at, the, at this state, uh, at this state, it will not work. It is for average uh, user. Let's ass let, we assume that average user uses a single blend file in a scene. Of course, it, it is mistake. Yes, but but this is a, a test uh, scene, and more features are to come. Yes, and one you mentioned already as well. Okay, and. Um, what happens with the data after it uploaded to to rendering? So, uh, to um, to make uh, possible the, the the next job uh, to upload faster, we have to keep the last uh, copy of your previous version of the scene, and it is kept uh, as long as you use the service. And um, well, as that how it works. Then it makes some local copies of the of the scene files and render it out, but it doesn't matter. You don't see it, and those uh, copies are uh, deleted. Then, but there's always always a, a one uh, uh, copy of your blend okay. on the server side. And how about the compositor? It works with compositor okay, as so well. I, so I could mm -hmm. render in 100 passes, combine them, and have the output. But then the <clears throat> There is a CPU to to calculate, yes. the, the, but is it good or what? What kind of CPU would be there? <laughs> because sometimes the compositor can be the. It the will slow do the job uh, uh, comparable to your fast local CPU. It's okay. it's not it's not uh, it will okay four times faster maybe. It's not on GPU, so no. unless it's not on GPU, it can be uh, that much faster. Mm -hmm. Okay, but uh, there's uh, also set of limitation that I forgot to mention. One of them are uh, there is no animation at this moment. Okay, just the single frames. You are free to use. Uh, yeah. The resolution. Yes. There is, is there is any the, limitation to yes, the resolution? HD. HD. Okay, yeah. so something like the render web. It's also limited okay. to HD. Yeah? Okay. 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 yeah. If it's, I think it's enough. But if there be, will be a strong need uh, to make it um, twice bigger. Is there any co cooperation with with universities or something yes. like this? Yeah. Yeah. Um, on the user side, uh, operating system needed. We've seen Windows. What about OS X? Uh, Good question. I've I've managed to prepare. Uh, uh, version for Ubuntu Linux and uh, Windows. It runs on most of the Windows and uh, Ubuntu uh, 11.4 and all the upper versions 64 and uh, 32. And I've tried to manage to make a Mac uh, version. It's uh, compiled, but it's not a uh, release pack yet. So there, there will be slight delay with the Mac version. Sorry, but I've got an old crappy MacBook only. And on, and the, on the server side, uh, will you plan to uh, open it up? Like I have my, I don't know, two beautiful servers in my fridge and uh, want to use the ray pump on them. So you don't have access to. Yeah, uh, the, 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 the question is, will it, uh, are you thinking about uh, opening it up, like giving the server uh, site uh, software uh, to the public. Uh, uh, opening the uh, uh, software is the uh, some um, thing, thoughts I gave, and I will probably, most probably, give uh, uh, make uh, open source for a client site, but the for for a server site probably not. I'm not sure, but probably not. A very quick question. <clears throat> I don't know if you can answer because. It's about the part it's, you, it's might, you might keep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, so you said uh, that the, um, you, we upload a blend file to, the, to yeah. the server, then it gets rendered. Then you've seen, OK, we edit it, and then we upload a new blend file, um, and then we render that. And that is efficient, because somehow you manage to uh, you manage to make it faster. Yeah. So the only thing I can think of is that somehow you you find a difference yes. between the content of a blend yes, files. Yes, that's what I said. Yeah. So mm -hmm. how is it possible? Sorry. How do you do this? I mean, <laughs> uh, yeah, we know that the <clears throat> that the Blender format is uh, not so friendly to this uh, type of operations, like finding differences in the content of a blend file. So I'm really curious on how you're doing it. Well, there's there's a plenty of uh, documentation, technical stuff about about. Uh, it's not about blend file. A, a, any blend, any kind of file can be checked out for uh, for uh, deltas between versions of the file. 
Okay, so, and blend files are tend to be great uh, at this area. I mean, the, the, the kind of changes you've made and uh, when, when you save the blend file, even if it, it takes uh, uh, 200 megabits on your hard disk, the actual upload will be just a fraction of this. Even if you present uh, some new textures or uh, modification, <clears throat> yeah, but this is binary, uh, like hard way, just uh, yes. the data yes. without yes. Uh, looking in inside, right? Uh, I mean, from a blender point of view, we are not looking inside the blend in the ray pump. Okay, so Transfer. you do it on a file level. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's simpler answer. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know about time. We, all right. You said it's a testing version. Yes. When can we expect uh, something working correctly with animations and uh, even commercial jobs? And at the moment, it works correctly with, uh, with the set of limitations I've said, so we're free to use uh, um, it. Uh, I will unlock the download section on the raypump.com uh, tomorrow. Yeah, so. <laughs> All you have to do is just to register and uh, download, uh, not for the Mac at this moment, but I will catch up, maybe. Uh, my so. question was about uh, the schedule of the future. Oh. When can we expect it to work with, without limitations and uh, for animations also? I, d I don't think, I don't think uh, there can be a, a free service uh, without limitations because it, and, uh, it costs paid? money. <laughs> hmm? Yes, and if you pay? Uh, if that's uh, the mother of the, another um, advanced uh, version of, uh, of the service. That's kind of a point of it, to test it well and to create an uh, uh, ultimate uh, way of working online with Blender with, with no uh, drawbacks or issues that classic render farm present. So to make and, something really... And do you have a schedule for that or are you just doing it as it flows? Uh, at this time, the schedule is to, to public it and to test it with you as users. And then we will make decisions about what next. Okay, but Thank it you. will run for, for sometimes for sure as a free service. Uh, so you don't worry about, you don't have to worry about uh, it will shut down uh, uh, after a week or something like this. Okay. Uh, can you check the jobs of, uh, can you check the queue of your jobs or stop some jobs for ROM rendering? At this Could point, no, you just, you just click scheduled and it, get, it, it gets uploaded. But very quickly we will uh, um, release the version when you can uh, see the, the query and cancel some jobs. Um, so that's easy stuff, so it will appear pretty soon. Thank you. <laughs> That's it. Okay, thank you. Dziękujemy.